Hello, Zero Diabetes Zone community. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the latest research, tips, and advice for managing and preventing diabetes. Today, we'll be diving into a fascinating and eye-opening topic, the connection between heme iron, which is found in red meat and other animal products, and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. If you're concerned about your diet, or wondering how your food choices might affect your diabetes risk, this is a must watch. So, let's dive in. First off, let's break down what heme iron is. Heme iron is a type of iron found primarily in animal products, like red meat, poultry, and seafood. It's different from non-heme iron, which comes from plant-based foods like leafy greens, beans, and fortified cereals. Why does this matter? Heme iron is more easily absorbed by the body than non-heme iron which might seem like a good thing, but research is showing it could have some unintended consequences. Recent studies have uncovered a significant link between high consumption of heme iron and an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Research published in leading medical journals suggests that people who consume large amounts of red meat and other heme-rich foods have a higher risk of insulin resistance, a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. One major reason for this is that excess iron, particularly from animal sources, can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, two conditions that are known to impair insulin sensitivity. So, how exactly does heme iron impact your body's insulin function? Here's the science. When your body stores too much iron, particularly from heme sources, it can lead to the production of free radicals unstable molecules that damage cells. This process is called oxidative stress. Over time, oxidative stress can damage the pancreas, the organ that produces insulin, and make it harder for your cells to respond to insulin properly. This is a key pathway leading to insulin resistance, which increases your risk of type 2 diabetes. In one large-scale study involving over 200,000 participants, researchers found that those who consumed the highest levels of heme iron were at a 26% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those with the lowest intake. What's more, the risk seemed to increase significantly with the consumption of red meat in particular foods like beef, pork, and lamb, while non-heme iron from plant sources did not show the same effect. Now that we know the risks, what can we do about it? Here are a few tips to help you reduce your heme iron intake and lower your diabetes risk. Number 1. Limit red meat consumption try to reduce your intake of red meat and replace it with leaner protein sources like chicken, fish, or plant-based proteins such as beans, lentils, and tofu. Number two, balance your plate. Aim for a more balanced diet rich in vegetables, whole grains, and plant-based proteins. Non-heme iron sources like spinach, quinoa, and chickpeas offer safer iron levels without increasing diabetes risk. Number three, choose lean cuts and healthier cooking methods. If you still enjoy red meat, choose leaner cuts and opt for grilling or baking instead of frying to reduce unhealthy fats. Number 4. Increase antioxidants. Since heme iron contributes to oxidative stress, boosting your intake of antioxidants found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help combat this damage. So, the takeaway here is that while heme iron is an important nutrient, too much of it especially from red meat and animal products can raise your risk of type 2 diabetes. By making smart dietary choices and balancing your intake of iron from both animal and plant sources, you can take a significant step toward reducing your risk of diabetes. If you found this information helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Zero Diabetes Zone for more updates on how to manage and prevent diabetes. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.